Drosera will be replanted. Take it out of the flower pot. Remove old sphagnum. Avoid sphagnum on the mucus part of the Dolocera as much as possible. Long roots. Fill the flower pot with conuma soil. Drosera should be held like this. Avoid getting any deer clay on the mucilage area. Water the flower pot, and when the water comes out of the flower pot is clear, you are done. Finally, I'm concerned that some mucus parts are sticking to each other. I will work on releasing it. Next, I will replant Adelaide. Take it out of the flower pot. Remove old sphagnum. Rinse the sphagnum from the roots with water. Fill the flower pot with some amount of cane soil. This is how to hold Adelaide. Put Kanuma soil. If you put Kanuma soil on one side, put Kanuma soil on the other side in the same way. Lightly tap the flower pot to even out the conuma soil. Wash the mucilage area with water as it has been covered with conuma soil. As for the mucus, that will come up again eventually. But it's best not to splash water on the mucus area as much as possible. And when the water from the flower pot becomes clear, it's done. The leaves are attached to each other by their own mucus and are peeled off. I will post a video about Drosera and Adelaide's growth in the future. Please subscribe to my channel if you are interested. If you like this video, please give me a high rating. It will encourage me to make more videos. Thank you for watching. After the leaf cuttings of Drosera, new buds emerged. Mucus is coming out well. This one is still growing.